The Global Health Informatics Training Center, designed, built, and run by Dr. Gerald P. Douglas from the University of Pittsburgh, offers internships for recently graduated or current engineers working on real-world problems in their community here in Malawi. Alright, I'm George Ikwanga. Uh, this board is for oxygen concentrator. Oxygen concentrator, medical oxygen concentrator. We are reinventing this board. Uh, this is the board that we have reinvented. This is the original board. Uh, so you learned about this Learned about this one and, and did this one. In Malawi Kwacha, this yeah. is about uh, 80,000 kwacha. Yeah. yeah, so for this one, yeah, this one is costing about less than 10,000 kwacha. So we see to, do, to, to have this one cheaper. Uh, and again, to get this one, you have to get it from, from somewhere, not here, local. Uh -huh. So this is uh, a local solution. When they break, they can't be fixed locally. So yes. these guys are redesigning this board so it can be fixed locally. The main, the main use of the circuit board for ocean concentrator is to control the sodium valves that are on the ocean concentrator. You're making these for oxygen concentrators yes. at KCH. Yes, yes. And this is because there is not just free flowing oxygen in the hospital for the most part. Yeah, There's yeah, sure. some tanks, yeah. but it's for just the sickest people that might survive. Yeah, sure. So these oxygen concentrators are essentially like magic boxes that just take free oxygen yes, and yes, concentrate yes. it. Yeah, so sure. they're like gold, yeah, sure. right? Yeah, sure, so that's sure. why this is so cool. These are copper coated pieces of plastic and we put them here in the CNC and they use a special software called EagleCAD. And EagleCAD allows you to trace where you want lines to be. So you can make wires out of the copper material and then you can stuff that, it's called stuffing, with components. So you put components on there to make a board. <laughs> Who's out there? Oh. So does it, it works now? Yeah. yeah. What? Wait, show me. Okay, so. Yeah, so I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, I'm Mike Mutara. Here we've come up with the uh, access, uh, door access control, yeah. whereby we used this RFID, which uses M35C22 uh, technology. There's actually a little antenna in here, coiled up in here, and there's a little chip in here with a special code on it. And when you get close to here, radio frequency power comes out of this transmitter energizes this coil and is enough power to read and the chip. It, it also energizes this. Yeah. You see? Yeah. If you can see the door is locked, but I can use this guy to to, to open. So oh it's very simple because uh, if you want to control anything ex exam for example uh, this door you don't have to uh, to worry about the security uh, you don't have to have to have the actual keys to open your door. What you need you can just buy this cards and you can use them easily by just swiping. If you lose a card, you can unregister that card. That means it disappears automatically. Very, dis very secure. These are large tubes that we buy. They're drainage pipes, actually the only way you can buy plastic like this in Malawi. And then they put them inside of this contraption here. And we use heat guns to melt the plastic and flatten them so that this turns into this. A flat piece of plastic that you can turn into anything. Uh, so my name is Tedros I'm a student at the Young University. So this is a CNC machine. Basically CNC means computer numerical control. So it's a machine that like uh, does the work on your behalf. So what you do is uh, as Morgan explained with the plastic, after you flatten the plastic and after you design what you want to get out of from, it's, it's when you take the plastic and put it here and then you load the G code from the computer into this main computer. After that, you start the process and it does the work for you. 
So normally it's made up of, uh, it's just a router which is like uh, rotating at high speed and you have a small bit underneath here, cuts the material for you. So somebody made this thing. Yeah, it's scratch. actually me. Who somebody made this. Made this <laughs> yeah, it's me who made this machine. Wow, that's really yeah. impressive. She, she would build this big machine from that small machine. So you use all the pieces which are here. So this is the mother CNC, yeah. which gave birth to this piece. This CNC. Yeah. 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 You just made a hospital part. Right? Yeah, it's actually in the office. So the EVR project with AV Villages. Mm -hmm. There are 80 desks. In all of those villages, and every one of those desks was built right here on this CNC. So, my name is Mwavi Lungu. I've been an intern here for about seven to eight months. I've just graduated from Diang University. This is one of the projects that I've been working on uh, the past few months. So this is a hospital cart, supposed to aid the nurses when they are working in the hospital. So this thing has uh, uh, like two layers, the top and the bottom. So the top layer has uh, these drawers, so we have these baskets. So this is where everything the nurse will need goes, like the syringes, uh, the medicine. So that goes in this basket. So we have four of these, two on each tray. And then we have uh, this door down here. So this is where the bin and the shop box goes. In Malawi they are quite expensive, so it's cheaper to make uh, your own. We design all the pieces on the computer and then we export a file that's called a G-code. We grab uh, the pipe like you saw down there, flatten them, cut the pieces mm -hmm. and this is much cheaper to make than to just buy one from off the shelf. It's also very easy to assemble. It has got few screws like eight of them to be precise mm -hmm. that hold this whole thing together. Unfortunately, there are few opportunities to extend their classroom learning into practical applications. So the training center offers all of the resources necessary to foster the students' creativity and encourages their resourcefulness in these resource-constrained places.